Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome to Novica Stock, a new custom community map for PC only, unfortunately, by D Dog that's been getting some really good feedback as well. And I've been looking around it and it does look very, very nice indeed. Um, and it's ready to go complete with mission files so you can um, fire it up and uh, get it running on your community server. However, in this video, I want to show you how you can get it running on your local server so you can check it out in kind of single player mode and apply the mods that you may want to apply to it um, and just check to see how the spawns work and mod the mission files and all that sort of stuff before you upload it to your uh, remote community server. So with further ado, let's exit out of that. And so what I'll do in the description below this video, I'll put a link to my video about how to install a local server on your PC. Um, very useful local servers, really, really useful. If, you, if you're getting into modding on Daisy, if server modding that is, and maybe it's for a console as well, it's worth having a PC that you can use a local server on because it's so much quicker to test things out on a local server than it is on a remote server. I'll put a link to the Novica stock map as well. So make sure you visit that and hit the subscribe button. There are no dependencies at the moment. So that's a nice thing as well. And as I say, it does come with the mission files. So let me shut down this, close down this. And that should uh, shut down that as well. And so we're back to the launcher. And what should happen is when you fire up the launcher, it will download the mod, which is cool. And then what we want to do is, it, you, you probably see at the bottom, I'll say some mods were recently updated, and you can do a search for Novico stock. And then if you click on the little arrow and click on the three dots and go to Open Folder in Windows Explorer, this will take you to your Workshop folder um, where all your mods are downloaded. And if you right-click here and you just go Properties, then Untick Hidden, your Workshop folder should then be accessible and what we're interested in here is Navico stock so the first thing you want to do is just left click and then right click that and you copy that and then go up one and what you should then find is when you go up again you'll be in the same um, folder as your daisy local server so you can then go to daisy server right click and then you can paste and Navico stock will then appear in here uh, where is it there it is sorry Novico stock there it is there then the next thing you want to do is if you go into Novico stock and then go into the keys and copy the key so copy the Novico stock key and then come out of there and then go into the keys folder for your local server and paste that that will then paste the key in which is very very nice and then the next thing we want is we want the mission files so this has got the types and the xml's and all that sort of stuff so if we go back to Navico stock and we go into the extras and then we go to daisy offline.novico stock so you can copy that there's a couple of cool things here actually there's a um, map and there's like a splash page as well so you've got that and then you've got that that's very nice kind of explained the law behind it but if we get, get daisy offline.novico stock and we copy that we go up one Go up another one, then go down to the missions folder for your local server, MP missions, right click, paste that in there, and you'll see you'll have daisyoffline.novico stock there. So it's ready to go. Now it does have, uh, it uses the CFG economy core method for altering some of the spawns as well. So if we go into CFG economy core and we have a look at that, we'll see there are references to the costoc 10 underscore CE folder, which has the amendments to the types and the spawnable types and events, which is a really nice way of doing it. It keeps the vanilla files nice and clean. So we kind of really like that. So what we've got now is we've got the basic um, files in place that we need to run the server. However, we need to make sure that our local server will start up with the correct files. And so there's two files that really change this. You've got your batch file, your dot .bat file, and you've got your config file. They're the two that work in tandem with each other to start up the server correctly. So the first thing you may want to do is adjust your Windows batch file. 
Um, now, if you've already got a local server running, and if you followed the, the video that's in the description below this one, you'll already have a batch file. So really, you just want to adjust the batch file. So what you can do is just take your basic um, batch file that you're using. So for me, it would be this one. So if we open this one with Notepad++. So I kind of call them, they've got, I've got a bit of a code for the names, but this is start, so it's a start batch file. Z ZB, that means it starts with Zombri, um, it's on the Chernerus map, and it's uh, vanilla plus plus dot bat. So what we need to do is change a few things of this. So what we would do is you just go down for the top on your batch file. Now your batch file might look a little bit different to this, but the, the main points will be the same. So we change the name to... Um, Novikoko, Novikostok, Novikostok, Noviko stock. There we go, local server. And then what's going to happen is we're going to call on a different server dz.config because that's the thing that loads the correct mission. And we're also going to add in the mod section the name for the map mod. So if you look for the start line in your start batch file and just go along and then look for the mod section. As you can see in my case, it's got CF and Zombie admin tools and VPP admin tools in already because I use them for admin tools. And then we just add a semicolon. And then the easiest way is if you then go back to the server and scroll up and go to Novistock which is there and we just left click it once left click it again we can right click and we just copy that come back to our file and then we can just paste that in so, so we've got novox stock and then what we would do is we know we're going to be using a different config file so let's say we call that one novi like that so we're going to have a different uh, config called so dz sovi dot novit like that so it's going to call on that one and then we want to file, save as, and we want to call this one, let's get rid of the generous. let's call this one test novi um, start zombie v plus plus dot bat. And we're going to put that in inverted commas so it saves it properly. So it's test novi. So, um, so I, this is basically so I know what it is. We save that. So that's now a batch file. Now what we haven't created, we haven't created this config here. So what we would want to then do is go back into our server and get our basic config, so serverdz.config, open that up, and we're going to save this as... Um, the, oops, sorry, let's just go back into here first. So we're going to save it as that. Let's copy that. So we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to call it that. So server dz novi.config. We're going to save that. Already exists. Do you want to replace it? Uh, yes. Okay. It's because I've already created this file already. So that's already there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your server and go into the mission file that we copied here and go to daisyoffline.novistock and just left click that then right click and copy the name and then in the uh, server dz novi that we created if we go down to the bottom where it says class missions your one will say daisyoffline.chernerus plus and all you do is inside the inverted commas just carefully paste the daisy offline dot novice stock and then you would save that and you can make any of the adjustments you wanted to as well remember we're going to be firing this up with our existing admin tools anyway so it's not like we can't change the time or the weather or, or what we spawn in with or anything like that we can just change that on the fly so what we've now got is we've now got our different batch file and we've got our different server.config file or a different config file. So they're all ready to go. So what we need to do now, just go back to our server, go up one, go into the MP missions. If you've been messing around with it, <coughs> excuse me, maybe go into the offline dot uh, novice dot and delete the storage underscore one so it starts from fresh. 
and then we just go down to our batch file so there it is test novi fire that up this fires the server which fires the config file and we go to daisy oh we've got a crash just close that go to servers refresh this Novi stock join that yeah the right servers are all there Novi stock vpp zombri and cf set dlc mods and join and now we just wait as it's just crashed which is no good we didn't want that did we so let's fire up daisy again There we go, Daisy. Boom, 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 boom. Servers, LAN, join. Set up DCM, I'm able to join. And what we should find this time is that it just fires up nicely. And then we can fire up our admin tools, whether it be VPP, P, or we can use Zombri Admin to really check out the map and have a single player adventure if you wanted to or just test out any different mods that we wanted to ourselves. So as you can see, I really like maps like this, which don't have um, other dependencies because you can get them working very, very quickly. And of course, the less dependencies a map has, the less likely it is to fail or crash when some of those dependencies get broken by a daisy update or, or something like that that and from what i've seen already this seems like a very interesting map a really nice vanilla flavor map as well you know it still feels like eastern european um, and there we go so let's turn on god mode oh let's just have a look at the map let's go to this airport let's turn on vpp and we can do a fly around look at this it looks very nice doesn't it there's a nice dam system up here there's that big lake and there's some nice um, uh, toxic zones as well that I saw when I was exploring earlier on today. So there we are my friends, there is Novistock, nice and easy to install, that's how you do it on a local server and I'll do another video on how to install it on a remote server soon as well. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.